Hi, this is Dr. Robert Chow reporting virtually from ULAR 2022 for Room Now. Uh, as we wrap up uh, this conference, uh, I wanted to share with you one of the late breaking abstracts, which is LB0001. Uh, this was an abstract focusing on bimikizumab. Uh, this was a phase three placebo controlled, randomized controlled trial on the safety and efficacy of bimikizumab, which we know is an IL-17A and IL-17F inhibitor uh, used in the treatment of biologic naive patients with active psoriatic arthritis. Patients were randomized to bimikizumab 160 milligrams every month, uh, placebo, and notably, there is also a adalimumab arm uh, at standard dosing of 40 milligrams every two weeks. The primary endpoint here was ACR50 at week 16, and overall, 44% of bemakizumab patients uh, did reach that primary endpoint compared to 10% of the placebo arm. Adalimumab was similar at 45.7%. Uh, notably, bemakizumab seemed uh, to work as early as week two, which is very promising. Um, and secondary endpoints were also all met. In terms of side effects, uh, serious adverse effects are similar amongst all groups, uh, roughly 1%. The most frequent adverse effect was nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory infections, and candida infections. Uh, there were no major malignancy differences no uh, MACE events, no uveitis, inflammatory bowel disease, or deaths. So I think overall, this is a, a very good study with promising results. Um, however, when you look uh, deeper into the data, uh, ACR50 uh, was roughly the same between bemakizumab and adalimumab, but there was a noticeable difference in the PASI90 and PASI100 scores between the two. Um, and this is something that I think we already know, which is IL-17 inhibitors tend to do much better in treating skin psoriasis. And really for the treatment of psoriatic arthritis, it seems that every new biologic on the market tends to be roughly the same. And uh, I think we may still be guided ultimately by potentially insurance companies, by the side effect profile, and really sometimes by what we cannot use or offer to a patient. Um, so I think the search continues. Um, it's good that we have another tool in our arsenal, but the search continues for a bi biologic that could potentially separate itself from the pack uh, for the treatment of psoriatic arthritis. So thanks again for tuning in. Um, this is Dr. Robert Chow reporting uh, virtually from ULAR 2022 and please uh, follow me at Dr. RBC. Thanks.